peace. Yours truly. Freedom to Farah. And yes, I'm back. Where have I been? Where haven't I been, right? I had to take a break. A much needed break, you know? I um, took some time to, to, to kind of focus on me and reevaluate some things and, you know, keep myself busy. If you want to know exactly what I've been up to, then uh, right there in the corner, yeah, go ahead, do yourself a favor and click that. That's my other channel. That's me and my daughter. That's what we've been doing. And I'm just showing old work right now because uh, I have nothing to show while I tell my little story. But I've been getting some things in order, you know? Focusing on uh, my daughter, as, as always, and focusing on my life. It's taken quite a turn. Um, I'm, I've gotten heavy into agriculture and gardening and things that I've spoken on before. But at this particular moment, I, um, I find myself falling in love with the outdoors more and more. So I haven't had much time to paint or create. And beyond all that, it's some personal things that have happened too. And I'm not really going to get into that. But uh, that's not what we're here about today. Now, there's somebody who's been waiting for me to give them a response. Someone who I've traded with, who've sent me artwork, beautiful artwork. Again, click right there. That is the trade they did with me. And I never sent anything back because um, I was in the hole. I had a whole lot of artwork to do for people. I had commissions to do. I was uh, focusing on a lot of things. And it's my fault that I had this person wait for a very long time. And I was in contact with them sparsely, not as detailed as I should have been. But I did let them know that they were not forgotten. And this is my response back to them. They had sent me some work that was extremely, to me, because I like very handcrafted things. It was photography and it was done, um, it was laminated with scotch tape and what have you and I loved it. What they wanted from me was uh, anything dealing with Alice in Wonderland. So I did some things for Alice in Wonderland and I told them I was also going to, we'll get to that. So I did some things with Alice in Wonderland. And without further ado, in no particular order, let me just show off my work that's going back to them. This piece right here is something I, you know, I worked on. I really like it. I'm going to hand sign some of these before I send it back. And they wanted all the work pretty much on labels. I, I had ideas for other things, but they wanted labels, and um, so that's what I'm going to give them. If you want to see how this looked without having the label all over it, then you can click on um, visit my Instagram, uh, the Works of Freedom Instagram. That's there. Along with that, and you know, uh, also on my other channel, I'll say it again. The Garden of Theodora. Uh, my daughter is pretty much my inspiration for this blue haired character here. So she's, uh, if you can see, you can see a piece of her head right there on Alice's shirt. And I try to you know, keep, keep my daughter at the forefront of all things I do. Keeps me focused. There's another one, there's a larger one. Oh, to Alice. <laughs> Where's my daughter? She's normally here doing this with me. Well, she's not here today. You will hear her, and trust me, she does have her artwork coming. I've been working with her on that. I also took a moment to um, teach some art at the Girl Scouts, and I taught some art in perspective one day, and it was, uh, I absolutely loved it. As you know, I love to teach. I love to be in front of a crowd of people. I'm a showman, you know, so the opportunity to, you know, be in a classroom setting was uh, great for me. I absolutely love it. Here's one. 
is hand drawn. Theodora and one of the one of the cards. Uh, this this is I absolutely love this one. I was gonna actually make multiple slaps out of it, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna go with I'm gonna let him have the original. That that's another gift. Send that one. It's not Alice inspired, but it's uh it's just something I, I like. My classic uh, freedom. I'm gonna send that one. Mario was the Hatter. My my daughter loved that one. She she inspired me to do that one. It's another classic black and white Theodora. I'm gonna go ahead and send that one. This is uh, Theodora. You know, falling, falling down, down, down. I was gonna put the checkered uh, background in there. I actually still may before I send this out. I may put the black and white checkered background in there. Uh, some of these works aren't completely finished it's just that tonight i'm gonna go through i'm gonna finalize uh some of these pieces and you know detail them out a little more before i send them out but right now uh, i know i know i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna mail it early tomorrow so i won't have time to show off the finished product maybe i'll take photos and put it on my instagram but check that out that's another uh, theodore as alice theodore as alice different uh, color scheme Theodore's Alice color scheme. Here's an original of Theodore. Well, all these are hand hand covered, by the way. So here's an original Theodore. No one will get that but him. Theodore laying in the grass, chilling in the garden of Theodore. S A D K. Our new our new brand. Smiling at doorknobs. A little weird one there. A little hand drawn, hand painted. Uh, Alice kind of stumbling through. Let me see the Cheshire Cat style. Here's a larger one. I did make a print for him. And here's another larger one of that. A big one of that. This is a, 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 for me, it's a labor of love, you know? Alice in the Garden of Theodora. And there we go, my character, Theodora, with uh, Walt Disney's character, Alice. And, uh, I hope one day to really produce a golden book for my character. That's what I'm working on, so that's why I'm pushing this character so heavy. Um, she does have a Patreon. I'll link that. Um, it's Patreon, The Garden of Theodora. You can check that out. But um, there she goes. I also have another gift for this person because they waited so long. It's also hand signed. Check this out. I have three more. These are all glossy 5x7s. I want to put these behind plastic as well. But uh, there we go. I'm going to hand sign that. And along with, you know, some other smaller ones is what I'm sending. And you know me, I like to do my minis. So, here's some of the minis. And again, thank you all. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Ring that bell, please. It helps me a lot. And 
and I missed you guys on 420. But as always, and I have uh, these new Fiodora pens. Here's the back, and I'm going to be sending him one of these just just for waiting and being patient with me. So with that said, smoke weed every day. Thank you for taking the time to view the art of works of freedom. For purchasing information, please check the description or visit worksoffreedom.com. And as always, thank you for supporting the art.